All right, I know this is a really weird way to start this video, but I forgot to make a video beginning. So here it is, here is how you curl my hair, um, my everyday curls, so yeah. All right, to start off this video, I'm gonna brush my hair. Um, I only use wet brushes because, oh my God, there's already something in my eye. The video just started, Sophia. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know what that was. That was really weird. Um, I only use wet brushes anymore, even when my hair is dry because I just feel like it doesn't pull out my hair as bad. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's give that a good brush through. Um, Um, this actually is my hair straightened. My natural hair is kind of like curly-ish, wavy-ish. Like the bottom part's like super like ringlet curls. And my hair's so like chemically damaged that my top part is only like wavy now. But when I was a little kid, I actually had like ringlet curls. So I miss that, but I don't have that no more. So I just do my hair now. All right, so for the curling iron I use is the Xara. I don't know how to pronounce this. Um, these are the interchangeable ones. So there's like multiple sizes. This is the one I'm using. I really don't know like what thicknesses this is. So I'm sorry, but like sometimes I use different thicknesses. So it just depends. Um, yeah, it just looks like this. I'm sure you can find similar ones to these on Amazon and such. So yeah, I just like the interchangeable ones because then I can like do different vibes on different days. But yeah, this is usually the one that I use the most. I just plugged it in. Why did my lip look like that? Anyway, ignore that. Um, so then it's just like these buttons and you just like turn it on and like the light turns on. I used to curl my hair on 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not do that. That is horrible for your hair. I have thick ass hair. Um, Obviously, it's straightened, so you can't really tell, but, like, when my hair is naturally dried, and I have a lot of hair, every time I get my hair done, um, my hair person always says, oh my gosh, you have so much hair, like, this is gonna take forever, and I'm usually upcharged for my hair dye because it takes so much more than, like, everybody else does, so, yeah, that's, like, the struggle. Um, my whole family has very, very thick hair. So, yeah. Here's the length of my hair, if anybody's wondering. Um, I cut it, like, January to about, like, right here. So, it's it's grown. I'm trying to grow it out. So, hopefully I do so because I'm really bad at growing my hair out. But we're trying. If you guys would like more, like, a product breakdown of what I put in my hair because I definitely do not do... The average I do a lot more than the average person does um, but just for this video I'm gonna use my heat protectant I just use the trust me one this is um, protection up to 450 degrees so um, it's just this one it's red I don't know I've been using it for a while so I just kind of get her up in in my hair Sometimes I even like spray my brush and then like brush my hair through again just so I know it's distributing distributing I don't know how to say that who my roots are coming in I need to get my hair bleached again all right now the curling iron is hot. I can, this is how I tell. You do this, if you can feel a heat presence, it's hot. I don't really know how else I would explain it. Do not touch it. I used to do that. <laughs> All right, so I do not section my hair. I used to, sometimes I do if like, I want like big voluminous like Marilyn Monroe curls, but for my everyday curls, I do not do that. I think it's a waste of time. Sorry, not sorry. So I do have curtain bangs. I don't know if anybody can tell. Yeah, I have curtain bangs. So I usually just take my curtain bangs and I start curling my hair. 
So there's not like a rhyme or reason how I do this. I kind of just slap it on, hold for a few seconds. Um, my, her my hair does hold curls pretty well because I do have naturally wavy slash curly hair. I have textured hair, so it does hold the texture in. So yeah, I just kind of take pieces and I start wrapping around. I don't wrap it all the way. Um, as you can see, I leave a little bit out. I hold for a little bit. Then I let down, just like that. And I just kind of keep going. I just, yeah, I don't take very long on this because I think, you know, you do your first round and then you can go back in if you like, you miss any pieces. Um, so yeah. I really would love to figure out how to like curl my hair with like a flat iron. But my flat iron, I need to get a new one. So it kind of sucks. So I don't really want to like, you know. I've tried it. It doesn't <laughs> look very good. Um, so yeah. Kind of sucks though. So like that one wasn't as good. Can you tell how it's kind of it's because I got more hair but yeah so I just like try to grab you know you know messy curls these are not my Hollywood you know bouncy curls that I'm trying to do here but just curling my hair I've burned myself so many times with these curling irons my mom actually uses a glove on wands I don't care too, so. <clears throat> Let go. So the trick is, I actually leave some of my hair straight. I know that seems really weird, but like, I'll do this. So this is all non-curled yet. Um, I take this and I actually just wrap it and I hold. And then it's not like perfectly curled. Why is my curling iron smoking so bad? Please don't burn my hair off. Um, it's not like a perfect curl, but it gives it texture. So then it doesn't look like I just have like straight hair under my hair um, that is curled. So yeah, I mean, that's like really how I do my hair. For the back, I'm going to show you guys. I just grab hair from the back and I wrap it. Everybody's always like, you know, that's the hair everybody sees, but I don't see it. So I don't care. <laughs> All right, I let go and it curled. You want to see the back? Does it look good? <laughs> Probably not. I am so excited. I'm redoing my room soon. <laughs> and I'm painting it pink. And I'm taking down this ugly collage. I put this up the beginning of the pandemic last year. So it's been up for a year. And I'm low-key sick of it. <laughs> Those are not the vibe I have anymore. Like, I have this very, like, light pink vibe now. So, yeah. I'm just gonna continue to curl the hair. Okay, this is my hair. Before I have like run my hands through it, brushed it out. So let's do that now. This one looking not good, I'm gonna fix that. A little less pokey out, no it's not, whatever. So I just tilt my head and run my hands through my hair.
All right, now unpopular opinion, I like my hair more when I brush out my curls, so. I think they look smoother. So now like these pieces aren't curled enough for me. So I'm gonna go back over them. Sorry for the mower sounds. It's supposed to snow tomorrow, so it's okay with mowing their yards. Gotta love living in the Midwest. I do not use hairspray. Um, I hate hairspray so much, so I don't use it. So usually when I go back over pieces, I use really small sections just so they look like there's more curls. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so then I don't end up touching every curl again. Just some. So then like, I don't like my, my bangs looking weird. So then I kind of just like, don't, I like separate, separate them. Like that. All right, and to add volume to my roots, I add some dry shampoo. And that's really it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like the like down below and subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to unplug your curling iron. I've done that. Don't forget to do not burn your house down. Do not blame me if you do. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.